During this time of year, people often talk about the real meaning of Christmas. Obviously, it's not just holiday cheer and presents under the tree. There's definitely something more. Actually, much, much more. The real message of Christmas is that the God of Heaven, who created you and me and everyone you know and everyone you don't know, didn't just love us enough to send a messenger to tell us of that love. He loved us enough to come Himself. The God who created the heavens and the earth and all that is in them entered our world Himself to tell us and demonstrate His great love for all mankind. And He didn't come as a powerful king who would demand submission from all of His enemies. He came as a humble servant, a savior who would demonstrate His love for us in a way that we would never have imagined. He would die so that we could live. But that's only part of the message. Christians often overlook another part of the message that is at the heart of Christianity. Jesus Christ is the Savior of the world, not just the Savior of part of the world. The angel who appeared to the shepherds on that glorious night to announce the birth of the promised Messiah did not say, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for some of the people, or even for most of the people. The angel said, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. That's why it's good news. That's why it's good news of great joy. That's why a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. That message was made clear by John the Baptist when he revealed who Jesus was. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. The best known verse in the Bible tells us that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. The very next verse explains why Jesus came, that the world through Him might be saved. And the Apostle John told his readers that Christ is the atoning sacrifice for our sins. And not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. When speaking to the crowd after his triumphal entry into Jerusalem, Jesus said, And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. During the first five centuries of the Christian church, a prominent view, and according to some scholars, the dominant view of the leaders and the people, was that Jesus Christ accomplished what he came to do. They believed that at the end of time, every knee will freely bow and every tongue will freely confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The real message of Christmas, the message at the heart of Christianity, is that the God of heaven came down to earth to bring salvation to all mankind. Jesus Christ is the Savior of all, not just the Savior of some. That's not only good news, that's the greatest news ever announced. Merry Christmas.